chicken. I wanted to share with you our experience in treating a chicken with congestion. <laughs> the chickens are so noisy when I'm trying to do videos. But it sounded like she could have possibly had a respiratory infection. I'm not really sure. I'm not a professional. I'm not a vet. We do a lot of trial and error when we're treating the chickens. I do a lot of research and I try to figure out what works. So I'm not really sure what this chicken had. It just sounded like she had like a stuffy nose and some fluid going on in her chest. So here is a video of her real quick. Um, it was at nighttime so there was a really loud frog making noise too. But I'll turn it up for you. So as you can kind of hear, it sounds like she kind of has some congestion going on in her nose. And the crazy thing was when I picked her up and I brought her inside. Um, when I pick her up, she was starting to kind of, I don't know, like cough or something. So I did my search on what I could do to help my chicken. And I came across this stuff. It's called Vet RX. It's really interesting. It has, it's made with some different ingredients, which I'll show you on the screen right here. I had actually gotten two bottles of this. It's a little brown bottle with a white cap. And this one is the one I actually ordered off Amazon and we ended up, we were able to pick up another bottle from Tractor Supply. I want to say at Tractor Supply it was like $16, $17 and I think Amazon it was like $26. Here are the directions for it. Just a little pamphlet thing. There's a few different ways that you can uh, use this on your, your chicken or poultry. You can mix some of it in the water and spray it as a mist on the bird. You can put it in the bird's mouth, you can mix it up in the bird's food, or you can uh, topically apply it, which is what we ended up doing. When we were treating her in the beginning, it was raining every single day. So I just felt like it would be best just to kind of like rub it on her and get it done and over with. And we did this at nighttime. So we took this stuff, which is a liquid, it's a clear liquid, and I just put it on my hands, I put it underneath her, like her nose, her nostrils, under her eyes, not on her eyes, under, on her comb, and then I put it under each wing. So we're using Vet RX. It's in like a yellow box. But supposedly there's a couple of ways that you can put on there. Put it on the chicken, you can put it in some water, and then you can put a teaspoon of this stuff in a cup of water and spray it on the chicken. And then they also suggest taking some of it and putting it underneath their wings and on their head and by their eyes and their nose. So I'm just gonna put it on my hands and then just rub it underneath their wings for right now because it's pouring outside. Shake it up real good. Try to get her better tomorrow. Yeah. So she's probably not going to like it. I don't know, I might need your help. I'll pour it into your hand if you want. Okay. Like kind of on my fingers. Why is it not coming out? Is there a little 
There's probably a safety oh. thing on there. Oh! Yeah, pretty gross. Or a pumpkin. Alright, that's good. It doesn't smell like eucalyptus or something. Mint eucalyptus smell. Can you want to down? Alright, do you need to put some more on there? Yeah, I'm going to put it underneath their wings. I rub that on her every night for a week. I also was feeding her at nighttime a raw egg with cayenne pepper. And I also put some of her little pellets in there and a few pieces of corn because my chickens just love the corn. It's like their little dessert. And then during the daytime, I made sure that she was drinking the water with the electrolytes. I just put it in the area that she was staying at because she was staying in the back. The last couple of days she was sounding a lot better. You could be near her and not hear the congestion and whatever was going on in her chest that was clearing up. And she was starting to make the hen sounds again, uh, the clucking. I don't know, it just sounds like a totally normal chicken. If you, if you have chickens and you know what I'm talking about, you know what they sound like. She was starting to sound like that again. She always stayed in the back and for some reason, I guess she was just feeling better. She came up to the house and we had another hen initiate a fight and killed her. So I don't think that she wasn't, I don't think she was 100% better, but she was a lot better. because. She just sounded a lot better because I had heard her that morning. I checked up on her, made sure she had her water and everything, and she sounded clear. So that was really disappointing that we ended up finding her dead, and we rolled back the security camera, and it was a hen that killed her. If your chicken sounds like how my chicken sounds, I would use this. And I mean, you can try the different ways in the pamphlet, but for me, I just poured it on my hand. And like I said, I put it underneath her nostrils, under her eyes, not on them, under her eyes, on her comb, and then under her wings. All right, you guys, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope it helps out your chicken too. I've never seen this stuff before. Like I said, I do a lot of research, so that's it for now. Thanks, you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.